Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria Smazo. If you're new to this channel, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my entryway. That's where I'm sitting right now. So I'm basically going to be sharing with you guys my new entryway transformation. And I filmed last night basically the entire transformation. Me cleaning, what it looked like before, putting up the wood mirror, spray painting, all the DIY things that I did, I recorded and then all the files got deleted because iCloud did something so weird and I don't do well with like iCloud's backups, restoring files. Like I tried so hard to do all that and I could not find them. So today I'm just going to be doing a tour and I'm going to be sharing with you guys basically what I did, where I got this stuff from and yeah, all that stuff. But just a disclaimer, the entryway before was very plain. If you've seen any of my previous videos that have anything to do with like in-house stuff, you probably get glimpses of the entryway here and there. I'll also link up here our empty house tour, which shows basically how it looked empty. And that's basically how it was. All we had was um, a shoe rack and that's basically it. So I completely transformed it and I'm so happy with it. You guys are going to see how affordable all the things are that I purchased and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of lifestyle videos, fashion videos, home decor things. And yeah, if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let's go ahead and get on with the tour. All right guys, so this is what the entryway looks like i'm gonna go item by item basically explaining where i got everything so let's start with this rug this rug i purchased at tj maxx and it was around 30 dollars. and this console table right here is from target and i got that for around 60 dollars. and then i went ahead and put some essentials down here so this little basket i got from tj maxx as well it was like 7.99 and I'm just keeping in here a towel for when we take Dakota out. It's easy access to clean her paws because it's been raining a lot. So I like to keep something handy because I don't like her paws leaving marks everywhere. And I'm also leaving a lint roller in here. We usually keep this lint roller in the entryway anyway, but we used to keep it up here. But now there's a space for it. So this lint roller, we basically leave it for our guests because, you know, Dakota sheds a lot, so we want them to feel comfortable. And it's just easy access for when you want to clean off hair from your body. And then under here, we have a little stool. This is what I used to film, but I like to keep it in the entryway because in the morning time, while I'm making my coffee, I usually like to do my makeup in front of the old mirror that we had here and even this one, but um, before I would just stand in front of the mirror, but now I have a little stool that I can sit at and it's just more comfortable. Um, on the first level of the console, I just have two books here. You guys have seen me mention these books countless times in my videos. These are just two of my favorite books, so I like to keep them here for easy access. And now I'm gonna show you guys what I put on the top of the console. So this little lamp right here, is from Walmart. Yes, you heard right, it's from Walmart. When I saw it, I was like, this is perfect. I wanted to add something to the table that was dynamic and different, and I think that this adds a really nice like style to it. I also like the light that it gives because it's very like homey and warm. And then right next to it, there's this sign that says Wi-Fi, and I still have to write in it the Wi-Fi password because we're gonna change it. But I also got this at Walmart, guys. I saw it in the home decor section and it was just, I liked it. I like the idea of having our Wi-Fi password easily accessible to guests that are here for the first time or that forget it or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna write it in here with a Sharpie, but we wanna change it to something a little bit more um, legible because <laughs> right now it's just a bunch of numbers and stuff. And then over here I have a plant and I got this from TJ Maxx. I knew I wanted to put a plant in the entryway because I wanted like a breath of fresh air as soon as you walk in. But this entryway is kind of small so I don't have access to put anything huge. So I knew a small little table plant would be perfect. And then I got a candle. This candle is going to be like the entryway staple. It smells delicious. It smells like straight up laundry. It's very, very welcoming as well. So I wanna have this on whenever I'm home. And I just like the aesthetic as well. It looks super clean, super sleek. Now to my favorite part, this round mirror. There I am. <laughs> so this round mirror I purchased from Target. As you can see here, I didn't do a great job at spray painting it, but I did what I felt like was necessary. But basically, this round mirror was actually gold before. Um, and 
So I was like super desperate to get a black mirror because I knew that gold wasn't really gonna go well with this. So I wanted to get a black one, but they only had gold at Target and I didn't wanna wait for shipping, like, you know, to order one online because I found one online for the same price. So I just decided to spray paint it myself and I lost all the footage of me doing it. Literally guys, I filmed a whole video of how I transformed it and how I'm just doing a tour because I lost it all. But anyway, basically what I did, and as you can see here, I got a little bit of spray paint on there, but it's okay. Like, it is fine. Basically what I did is I covered the entire mirror with some newspaper and also some um, tape and everything. And then I just spray painted it black. And now this is what we have. And I love how it looks. I think it adds the perfect, it's just the perfect mirror for this area. And it's the perfect size and everything. This table is 44 inches in length, which I thought was perfect because it doesn't take up the entire space. Um, it's like, you know, just the perfect little nook. I'm so excited guys because this area has been super plain since the moment we moved in. So for a long time this area was very plain. It didn't have anything like I mentioned before. It literally just had a shoe rack and the hanger that's behind me. Um, but lately I was like, you know what? This is like the first experience that people get when they walk in. The first impression if you want to say. So I decided to tackle it like ASAP and literally guys I got this done in one entire night doesn't take a long time and it's super affordable. I'm gonna link every down, everything down below and how much everything costs. For furnishing and for decorating and everything, this is actually very affordable because I know things like this, mirrors and all that can be like super expensive, but I want the affordable route because I'm not trying to, you know, spend too much money. I'm just trying to be comfortable and affordable. The other thing that I added was this. So we already had this hook thing right here and actually came with the house and we haven't moved it. But I found this uh, stay a while sign at the top at Target and I love it. I just put it right above. So to be completely honest, we tried putting it over here, but there's like a stud here so it doesn't fit. We were going to put it right here and then just put individual hooks, um, but it didn't fit. So we had to put it right above there, which I don't mind. I think it looks fine. Um, and then this is where people can hang their clothes. Let me take you guys through the experience of walking in the home because I think that that's like Let's see, let's see how it feels. I still haven't like walked out of my bag in. So here we go. Ooh, yes, this is beautiful. I love it. Thank you. All right guys, so that's basically it for my entryway tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you like these kinds of videos where I show you guys parts of the house and basically how I redo it. This is, I think, my first one. I want to do my loft tour next, but that one's not completely done. This was just something that I wanted to knock out and then I got done pretty quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you can stay tuned basically with everything else that I post. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.